And here in France, the government has just issued 25 decrees to deal with the coronavirus outbreak. They say that we are now facing a war economy. Those decrees including setting aside a billion euros to help small and medium businesses stay afloat, while a series of protective measures to ensure both the unemployed and disabled continue to receive benefits. Let's take a listen to what the Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe, had to tell reporters earlier. I would like to highlight the exceptional means these measures provide in dealing with the brutality of the shock to the country. It is first of all a health shock and it is the health emergency that animates us all today. But it is also, and it will be more and more, an economic and social shock. We are only at the beginning of the crisis, and the President has asked the government to take all necessary steps in the long term. It is a long-term effort that we are preparing for, and one which we will cope with all together. And France 24's Florence Villeneuve has more. The Prime Minister was very clear that what is a uh, health crisis is very soon going to become a massive economic and social crisis. And that is really uh, the aim of these 25 decrees uh, of the government. Essentially, uh, the idea is to provide them with an arsenal to fight uh, what is what he called an economic war. We're in a, in a kind of wartime scenario for uh, the economy. Now, the vast majority of these uh, decrees are aimed to helping small businesses who are struggling to stay afloat right now. Uh, now, you mentioned those 1 billion euros. It's essentially a solidarity fund to help these companies who are just having a hard time, you know, paying their electricity bills, uh, paying back loans that they have. So the idea is to help these, uh, these uh, small businesses, micro businesses, he said, sometimes uh, self-employed people, to help them keep working and not uh, go down during uh, this crisis. Now, another big part of what he said was helping the most vulnerable. So that includes people who are uh, disabled, for instance, the government will continue to pay disabled benefits. Also, people who are unemployed or partially unemployed, a big part of what uh, Edouard Philippe just mentioned there was that the government is going to keep helping these people who are uh, struggling right now. The idea is this, this is a massive uh, solidarity coming out from the government.